Hi everyone and welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the yield farming versus staking crypto. So before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel future updates. What is yield farming? DeFi yield farming is a service offered by decentralized exchanges, DEX. The main concept is that you will lend your digital tokens to a DEX so that it can offer buyers and sellers sufficient levels of liquidity on a specific trading pair. For instance, let's suppose that the DEX offers the trading pair BNB, PXP. In order to swap BNB for PXP, or PXP for BNB, there needs to be an adequate amount of liquidity available to cover the exchange. This is where yield farmers come in. To earn a yield on your tokens, you would be required to deposit the same amount in BNB and PXP. For instance, $1,000 worth of both BNB and PXP at current exchange rates. For as long as your BNB and PXP tokens are contributing to the BNB PXP liquidity pool on your chosen DEX, you will earn a percentage of trading fees. These are the fees that buyers and sellers pay to access the respective trading pair on the DEX. As a result, Yield farming offers a great way to offer passive income on your idle tokens. You will, however, need to have access to both tokens from a trading pair in order to provide liquidity. What is staking? The main difference between staking and yield farming is that the latter requires two individual tokens to make a single trading pair, like BNB, PXP. However, in the case of crypto staking, you are only required to lend one token to the respective exchange. Before we get to that, we should note that the staking in its original form involved locking your tokens in a proof-of-stake, polonium-2 sulfide, blockchain like Cardano. This allows the blockchain to remain decentralized and thus, verify transactions in a secure and fast way. And in doing so, you will receive a passive income from the blockchain network for locking your POS tokens. The main disadvantage of traditional staking via a blockchain protocol is that yields are often super low. Moreover, the process is only suitable for POS coins. This is why it is much better to use a DEX when engaging with staking tools. This will not only give you access to much higher yields but a wider pool of supported tokens outside of just POS coins. In terms of the fundamentals, you will first need to decide which token you wish to stake and for how long. For instance, if you stake DeFi coin on the DeFi swap DEX, you will earn an APY of between 30% and 75%, depending on whether you opt for a 1, 3, 6, or 12-month term. During your chosen lockup period, you will not have access to your tokens. This means that under no circumstances can you cut the staking term short, even if you need instant access to funds. On the contrary, you will need to wait for the term to pass before you get your tokens back, in addition to interest you have earned. This is in stark contrast to yield farming, which typically comes in the form of flexible terms. The yield farming versus staking debate will often boil down to flexibility. This is because, in the vast majority of cases, yield farming pools do not require you to agree to a minimum lockup period. This means that you can add or remove liquidity as and when you please. If you feel like you are overexposed to a specific pool, it's just a case of making an instant withdrawal. On the other hand, if you find that a particular yield farming pool is working well for you in terms of APYs, you might decide to deposit more tokens. Depending on your chosen trading pair, you might have access to significant yields that exceed anything that staking platforms can pay. This will evidently depend on how liquid and volatile the pair is. For example, if you are looking to provide liquidity for a new and relatively unknown crypto token, then there is every chance that the pool will yield triple-digit APYs. Even highly liquid pairs can yield double-digit returns, which is why farming is so popular. As noted above, when you engage with a yield farming tool, you will need to provide liquidity for a trading pair. Therefore, you need to have equal measures of both tokens. In comparison, when you stake crypto, you only need to have a single token type. For example, if you like the sound of earning up to 75% on DeFi coin staking, this is the only token that you need. Another benefit that you might want to consider in this yield farming versus staking comparison is that the latter comes with fixed APYs. 
This means that you know exactly how much you are going to make once the staking term has concluded. You do, however, also need to remember that the monetary value of your investment will depend on the price action of the respective token that it is being staked. When deciding on whether yield farming or staking is the best DeFi product for you, a major metric to consider is the size of the APY that you will be able to generate. After all, the main purpose of lending your crypto tokens out is to make money. In a nutshell, there is no hard and fast rule as to how much you can make from both yield farming and staking, as there are plenty of variables at stake. First and foremost, the type of crypto token that you are looking to farm or stake will have a major say in the yields on offer. For instance, if you were to stake a large cap token like Ethereum, you should expect a lower APY. This is because Ethereum is already an established crypto project and thus, it attracts higher interest from the broader markets. This would also be the case if you were to provide liquidity for a pair like ETH, USDT. At the other end of the spectrum, staking an up-and-coming crypto token like DeFi coin would attract a much higher yield. Similarly, if you were to farm a less liquid pair like DEFC, BNB, this would also generate a greater APY. It goes without saying that APYs will generally increase when you agree to lock up your tokens for a longer period of time. For instance, if you decide to stake your tokens on a flexible basis, then the APY on offer will be much lower than agreeing to lock the funds for 12 months. With that being said, very rarely will you need to agree to a lock-up period when opting for a yield farming agreement. Another thing to note about earning rates across both yield farming and staking is that the latter is typically fixed. This means that when you engage in a staking agreement, you will know exactly what APY you will make. This will suit those of you that wish to limit the volatility risk as much as possible. Yield farming, however, provides no such safety net. On the contrary, there is no knowing what yield you will walk away with. Sure, your chosen DeFi lending platform might give you an approximate APY, but this will be an estimate at best. After all, farming yields will change throughout the day depending on a variety of metrics, such as volatility, arbitrage opportunities, and liquidity levels. Thanks for watching.